Bryce Harper hits fifth opening day homer. Bryce Harper hits fifth opening day homer. With a solo shot off David Phelps with one out in the sixth, Harper narrowed the gap to 2-1 to one and hit an opening day home run for the fifth time in his young career. Worth catches a Stanton shot on the warning track. In the sixth inning, Giancarlo Stanton came up again against Steven Strasburg, and smacked a pitch to deep left field. Jason Worth wobbled backward, leapt and snagged the ball on the warning track. Strasburg let out a wide smile. It's still 2-0. Marlins push across two in the fourth. After giving up one hit through three innings, Strasburg got touched by the Marlins in the fourth. J. T. Real Muto started the inning with a double, and one out later, Stanton drove him in with a double. Justin Bohr grounded out, moving Stanton over, and the right fielder crossed the plate on a Marcel Ozuna single to give Miami a 2-0 lead. Strasburg hasn't issued a walk through four innings, but he's now given up four hits and two earned runs. Turner doubles, Valk strikes out three. In the bottom of the first, Tree Turner nearly started the season with a home run, pulling a high Adinson Valk's pitch off the Budweiser sign on the left field wall for a double. Like Turner, Adam Eaton got the count to 3-0. to zero. Valk's followed with a pitch well outside, and the Nats had runners on first and second for Bryce Harper's first at-bat. There were no all-too-easy opening day dramatics, however, as Harper struck out on a check swing. Turner and Eaton moved to second and third during Daniel Murphy's strikeout. Ryan Zimmerman then hit a ball that curved over third base and was ruled foul, and Volks finished him off with a foul tip that Real Muto caught. Strasburg starts with a 1-2-3 inning. The season started right on time, with Strasburg's first pitch, a ball to Marlins second baseman D. Gordon, at 1.05 p. m. Pitching exclusively from the stretch as he plans to the season, Strasburg got the count to 1-2. To Gordon fouled a couple pitches off, then hit a soft fly ball to Worth in left field. Real Muto followed with a ground out to Turner, back playing his natural position. Then Strasburg finished off a strikeout of Christian Yellick with a chest-high fastball. The Nationals and Miami Marlins lineups are here. Anthony Rendon is sitting this one out. The pomp and circumstance has begun. There are still about 10 minutes before first pitch, and the Nats have sung the anthem and recognized Nats players for their accomplishments. Since President Trump declined to throw out the first pitch, the Nationals invited representatives from each of the five branches of service, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard, to throw simultaneous first pitches. Live with Chelsea and Jorge. Opening day has been a long time coming, and for anyone who can't wait until 1.05 for the first taste of game day from the ballpark, Chelsea Janes and Jorge Castillo will broadcast on Facebook Live at 11.15-11.30 a.m. Talking expectations, concerns, and atmosphere around the Nats this season. Ask your questions right in the comments section, and they'll take them on air. After the live videos end, you can still watch them. George Will was on earlier, answering reader questions and talking baseball, and no politics, we presume.